This is the solution to written homework 32. Okay, so then I'll do this in pieces. G of t plus h, well that will be um, 4 t plus h plus 1 minus 3 t plus h squared. So that would be uh, 4t plus 4h plus 1 minus 3 times t squared plus 2th plus h squared. So that would be 4t plus 4h plus 1 minus 3t squared minus 6th minus 3h squared. Okay, so that's the first term. <coughs> so therefore, g of t plus h minus g of t is all of that. So 4t, I guess I'll go ahead and put it over h. That would be 4t uh, plus 4h plus 1 minus 3t squared minus 6th minus 3h squared and then minus 4t plus 1 minus 3t squared and all of this over h. And then importantly, when we substitute this in and that in, it needs to be parenthesized. So like so. So this this became parenthesized in red. And this became parenthesized in green. Okay, so the red parentheses don't actually affect anything. Adding or removing them doesn't change the meaning of the expression, but the green ones certainly do because this is saying we need to subtract all of these terms. Okay, so then doing that, uh, the four t's cancel, so four t minus four t. Nothing cancels this four h, so we get the four h. One is canceled with that one negative 3t, and then we're going to subtract negative 3t, so the negative 3t's cancel. Nothing cancels that negative 6th, and then nothing cancels the minus 3h squared. This is all over h. Okay, then now this uh, has a common factor. of h, so I can factor that out on the right, say. So that would be 4 minus 6t, and then minus 3h, h over h. And now the h is canceled because we were assuming that h is non-zero. So this would be 4 minus 6t minus 3h. <coughs> Okay. So solving part B, we're asked to solve uh, 4 theta minus theta squared is negative 5. Now some students have a little bit of a panic when they see theta, uh, but it's, it's just a symbol and it's no it's not mathematically any different than than an x it just is written as a theta so this is really a quadratic uh, equation in theta so i'll move all the terms to the right hand side so this would be theta squared and then minus 
4 theta, and then minus 5. And then can I think of two numbers whose product is negative 5 and whose sum is negative 4? Yes. So 0 is theta um, plus 1 multiplied by theta minus 5. So there are two solutions. Theta is negative 1 or theta is 5. And those are the answers.